，实拍实说，大地海外识货。<笑> I'm Janice Gladstone. I'm the principal of Bloor Collegiate, and I'm finishing my second glorious year here. Our, our school is、um, quite focused on STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, mathematics. We have a specialized program at this school for STEM subjects. So, in each of our grades, about a quarter of the students are in that specialized program. But that's not to say that we're not excellent in other things as well. We have wonderful arts programming.、Uh, I don't know if you can hear a little bit of music in the background, but there's somebody playing piano nearby, and that's a lovely thing. So there's a lot of music, visual arts, drama. We also have excellent sports teams. About 35 extracurricular clubs. Program was only offered the the STEM oriented programs only offered in 13 schools in the board. Relatively unique thing. We're a downtown Toronto school. The center of the city has a, a somewhat unique culture, even in, in the schools. So、um, our teachers take a great number of field trips through the city to ex- enjoy、uh, all the learning opportunities that come with experiential education. So you get to leave the school and do things in order to learn. So we are currently in、uh, Central Technical School. Which is a very large building campus. In fact, it's got three buildings, and、uh, it was designed to house 3,000 students. It was built in the early 1900s. It was started in 1913 to address. So they were training people to build aircraft and munitions, and、um, so it was a technical school for that purpose. It built for 3,000, as I said, and at one time there was many as 5,000 students. In and out of the building between night school and day school, and so there's Central Technical School, which has、uh, maybe 900 students. Our school, which has just over 800 students, and、uh, we also have Alpha Two Alternative School, which is a very small school, which is right next door. And I'm the principal of both Alpha Two and Bloor Collegiate. While we wait for the building to be completed, the new Bloor,、uh, we have been residing in this building, and that's been really interesting. Sometimes challenging to share space, just like having roommates. There's challenges, but there are also great benefits, and we've been enjoying that. I'm sure that we will miss each other when it's time for us to go back to our own school. A little over 800 students at the moment,、um, and that number is anticipated to rise when we move to our new building. We have a small number of international students, although we have quite a A, a large number of immigrant students. You know, the, the international students. It's not like you won't find people from your home country who've moved here. So the number of international students is between 20 and 30 in the year. We do have ESL programming for English language learners, and it's strong. And、uh, a lot of the learning is also integrated with the rest of the classes. The school culture is very warm. Kind, open,、uh, accepting of of new people, and so the international students who come here tend to have a really nice time, make friends, and are welcomed warmly by the rest of the community. Fit in quite quickly、um, because the culture is so generous. So hello, my name is Janice Field, and I've been with the Toronto District School Board for 18 years. Previous roles have been as a department head for English as a Second Language, also in the guidance department as a full-time guidance counselor, and I'm in a new role here、um, as a guidance counselor for international students with the TDSB. TDSB is an eclectic school board. And it's one of the largest ones in North America. So, in secondary schools, we have programs that range everywhere from technical and construction programs all the way up to、uh, medicine through the specialist high skills major programs. So, the great thing about Bloor Collegiate, it's one of our mid-sized schools at about 800 students. It specializes in science, mathematics, computer science, so STEM-related programming. So, it's quite an academic school here. And、uh, students that are graduating from this from this particular school are heading to probably U of T, Waterloo for programs such as engineering, uh, medicine, um, business, and computer science. 
And so the nice thing about Blur Collegiate is we have a small number of seats for international students here, roughly 30 to 40. And so the benefits of that is they get to merge with the existing students here and really get to uh, you know, work on their language skills and blend right in um, to, to this school. So the, so the nice thing about TDSB and the international students coming to our school is there is the range where we have like small population of international students versus larger. And so the benefits of having um, a school where uh, just a small number of international students are is that, you know, they can merge in with the student body and they can be accelerating on their English language development. Um, so they can tap right in. Uh, build confidence and just merge right with the clubs and sports, etc. Now the large, the larger population um, where they have a larger number of international students, they have the opportunity to blend with um, same culture. So they can have that little friend um, and get to know the school um, while they are uh, developing their language skills. Yeah, so one of the really great things about TDSB and especially the schools that we house international students at are, is the English as a Second Language program. So these are developed courses that merge with English. So if a student comes in and they're at a slightly lower level of academic language, we house these courses that count towards their credit accumulation and it's at the level that they're at. So there's five levels, ESL A, B, C, D, E, E being the highest, and out of E, they would merge into their um, like grade nine or 10 English. Mm -hmm. And so that gives them the ability to bridge academic language and develop um, using the other curriculum in that grade that they're in to help build their language skills. So the one thing about working for TDSB or being part of TDSB is the multicultural aspect. Um, so you've just got a diverse number of students from different countries. Um, it ranges from you know, Vietnam and India and Sri Lanka and from South America and Mexico and Colombia, et cetera, and all through Europe. So they come together um, in one classroom even, and it's a shared experience. Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn